The area is amazing. It's on the ocean, and it's like some of the most expensive real estate in California. So we've never done a flip here, but to me, like, I feel like it's kind of going to be like a flip we would do like in Laguna Beach by our house, right? Oh, yeah. Like high-end materials, not Turning. like your typical flip. OK. So this is our street. All the windows are closed up. Is anyone home? Yeah, there's a car in the driveway. Look at that driveway. Driveway, roof, based on landscaping, that's like 20 something thousand. Yeah, based on the outside, the inside is definitely gonna need a lot of work. All right, so we can't see the inside. We don't know the condition. Probably gonna be an expensive remodel. I mean, it's definitely a big risk. I think because of that, we offer a little bit less than 925. Wanna start at 875? I don't think it's offensive. I think it's close enough to where they might look at the offer. Yeah, it's still a lot of money. You never know. Maybe they say yes. Hello? Hey, this is Tarek. We're at your property in Palos Verdes. What do you think? Definitely needs a lot of work. I know you're asking 925, but what we can do is come in at 875 and we can close quick. 875 it just sounds a little bit low, especially for the area. OK, you want to give me one second? You want to make a deal and just tell them 900? Yeah, I mean, with comps at 1.3, there's still room. You want 925, we're at 875, so why don't we meet in the middle and go 900? Can I think about it and call you back in a little bit? OK, sounds good. Thanks. The next day, the seller accepted our $900,000 offer. This house is ours. That's a huge price for a fixer, but it is Rancho Palos Verdes. With comps up to 1.3, if we spend the money to do this flip right, we can make a huge profit. Now that the tenants are out, we can finally see what we bought. <laughs> Original. Big room here, we have a fireplace. I think you can actually see the ocean through the trees around the corner. I mean, you actually can see it. You can see a little bit of ocean there, a little bit of ocean there, but you get the breeze, you get that ocean feel. Beautiful neighborhood. This is gonna be a fun project. I feel like the entrance does not have any sort of Wow. We could open up this wall, open up this wall. So this entire, from that corner of the house to that corner of the house, all the same flooring, all the same height ceilings, all the walls gone. Yeah. Oh, look at this kitchen. For sure here. Remove the wall. Gotta remove the wall. Oh, I know. There's a lot we can do here because we can actually spend money. Typically, to remodel a kitchen like this, it's about 8,000. We're probably going to be into this kitchen, 25,000. I'm glad we're on the same page. I get just totally have the vision in my head right now. So what's going on out here? Oh no, this is a whole yard, this? Yeah. How much back here do you think? Probably 20 grand. OK, good. So with the kitchen at 25, the yard probably at 20, that's 45,000. I might be wrong on my numbers. I figured about $100,000 at the most for this house. Wow, there's a lot of work right there. One to 110? 230,000. How in the world could it cost $230,000 to do an 1,800 square foot house? First, you want to take out the load bearing walls in the kitchen and in the living room. That's a huge cost driver. The roof, new driveway. Somebody already took the meter, the panel, that's gone. So rewire, the plumbing, all the great new finishes. OK, so it's 100 grand more than I thought. <laughs> And I don't even know if that's included everything that I want to do. Woohoo! Israel. Hey, guys. Hey, buddy. What's going on? So right off the bat, let's talk about structural. Remove this wall. Blow out the whole space. And okay. then when it comes to kitchen layout, let's do a really big island here. You want to do like a seven, eight, nine foot island? So it'd go from about here from there. all the way over to here? It could extend all the way there, yes. That is going to be the biggest island we've ever done on this size house. I feel like we should leave the sink dishwasher here and run lower cabinets. They should die at that wall. OK. Don't uh -huh. forget the cabinets. We have to go custom. And then for the island, we can do a slide in range and then a microwave drawer. Done. It's going to be amazing. The cabinets and the massive island you want, it's going to be more money. So what are we talking about? Like 10 grand more than our estimate? Sounds that way. For a million two asking price, everything we do here has to be like big impact. Oh, 
looks so different in here. How are you? Izzy, big smile today. What's up, buddy? <laughs> how you doing? What's up? Yeah, I like how you walk in left to right. You can see the entire house. It feels so much bigger now. We're ready for you to design. So I like this marble herringbone tile for the backsplash. Perfect. It adds like more contemporary flair. These are super cool. We can do a marble looking quartz on the island and then uh, like a gray slab back here. Actually, that'll look really nice. And then for the cabinets, this white shaker. Okay, so keep it light and bright. Yeah. All right, flooring choices. This one right here is just perfect. How much is that one? It's within budget. That's great news. That's very good news. That hardly ever happens. No. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually really digging this look. I think we found our look. Okay, awesome. We'll get to work. With the kitchen and living room opened up, we now want to make the back bedroom and bathroom into a master suite. So we're adding a slider to the backyard and moving some closets and doorways around to simplify the layout and create a large master bedroom and beautiful master bath. Double vanity. Double vanity. And a huge shower right here. Oh. We can make like a seven or eight foot shower. You're going to add to your budget $10,000. So we're up to 250 grand. High end area. Buyers are going to love it. They're going to pay more for it. I think definitely we should go for it. open living room and kitchen is really coming together. But when you walk in the front door, it feels like it's missing something. So I've made an executive decision. Hey. What is this? <laughs> you like it? It looks amazing, but I'm scared to ask how much it is. 1,500. Right when you walk through the front. Ah! You need help, honey? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on. You need Izzy's help? No, I don't. I'm a construction professional. Izzy. No, no, it's working. Hey, can you help Tarek? Watch. Oh, good job. Oh, we nailed it. Hey, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Jesus. Jeez. <laughs> Look at that. Hold on, hold on. Voila. I think it looks cool, but I think these are going to fall off. If you install them, yes, they're going to fall off. <laughs> If I thought they're gonna fall off, Izzy fine. has jokes today. <laughs> they're fine. I knew I had a good idea when I came up with this. Ah, uh -huh, just like always. We paid nine hundred thousand for the house. We put a little over two hundred and eighty-one thousand into it. That puts us at about one million one hundred eighty-one thousand dollars. Closing costs when we sell are gonna be about fifty thousand. So. The break even here is gonna be a million two thirty. That's crazy. I think we swing for the fences. We list at a million three nine nine. It seems high, it might be high, but after spending two hundred eighty thousand dollars here, I think we have to try. I say it's worth the shot. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so open now. Remember before there's that huge wall right here, and then there was a door to the bedroom. Yeah. The island is massive. And they definitely nailed the staging. It looks so cute. All right, so we created a private master suite. Definitely worth every cent. Huge shower. Super luxurious, right? Yeah, this thing's awesome. How's that closet looking? Closet looks good. We actually have storage. And what I love is that you step out of your master into a really cute patio. All right, well, it looks amazing. Let's get set up, see what buyers have to say. Look at these floors. I love them. It's perfect. This is beachy and nice. It's just so open. I like the accents on the fireplace. Look at this mantle. That's it's beautiful. So, so I wonder pretty. where they found that. The backsplash is gorgeous. It's very pretty. Look at that. You close one, I'll close the other, and we'll see how it goes. Yay! This is a good size bedroom. Yeah, it's nice you and You can even see a tidbit of ocean. Another nice size room. They really paid attention to all the detail and brought it to each room. I love this. Double sinks are always awesome. The shower is beautiful. I love it's that. Huge. Look oh at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> After a successful open house, we still haven't received any offers. If we do sell for asking, we stand to make a profit of over $160,000. Fingers crossed, but in the meantime, it's time to find another house to flip.